Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot. Difficulty level is a medium and I'm gonna give you four shots here in how to attack this pretty tough part three of the Shifang Basin. It's gonna be hole number seven and that we are going to dig into. Before we take a closer look, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. To get better at this game, you go to patreon.com slash gold slash Tommy and sign up to any of our packages we do offer tournament play tour play and checkpoint challenge guides you do have the link in the description down below so use that one and then you get to the platform where we do have all our packages when it comes to the shifang base in this part three i would say it's harder from the front tee than what it is from the second and the third tee because here with this t location being way more right than the other two then we are and we have to play on the fire we can't really use the rough bump because we don't have enough side spin and it's also an in-between club situation but especially the side spin part as you would have to use a lot of curl to even have a sniff of a chance of getting one of the rings so we're gonna do the same type of landing spot for everything like every wind direction and we're obviously going to take a look at that in the text guide in the end. We're going to play golden long iron every time, max plus five, VPR table on the right hand side. Press the question mark on the top right to get to the frequently asked questions about the golden shot. Send in a ticket to the support if you experience an error. Onyx chest for the hole in one. We do have fire chest for the yellow ring, scarlet chest for the red ring. We do have topaz chest for the light blue ring. And then we do have the Azure chest for the dark blue a ring let's take a look at the landing position here we do have there so what we're gonna do is before spin second bounce to be in line with the hole on the line between the bright and the dark green square row you can see a zoomed in picture and uh, together with um uh, together obviously with the, the a little less zoom in picture as well we're going to take a look at the shots here so let's go we do have a wind coming right to left here to start with it's more crosswind than what it is a tailwind here so what we're doing is we set it up like already explained and then we're going to apply spin according to the uh, the information that we do have in the text guide we're doing a four backspin here and a little bit of right spin three 4.7 miles per hour is 2.7 rings and we're always going to pull over the bullseye so we pull over the bullseye, then center the ball and hit perfect. A perfect ball it is. And we see here a bounce on the fairway up towards the pin. And we are unfortunately burning the edge here being just a little bit right. Need a little bit less backspin, I would say. Um, and uh, to get that little longer first bounce so it's being pushed more left let's take a look at the next shot here which is a wind coming left to right with the crosswind and tailwind a little bit of tailwind more crosswind we're setting it up as already explained important to do that before spin once again because if you're adding the spins listed and you do set up the position you are going to be very off and that's going to be um a clear um, showing in how far you can be if you're making a mess of that little thing it i mean it sounds like a very small thing but it becomes a big thing uh, in the end make the adjustment 3.3 miles per hour is 1.9 rings pull over the bullseye and uh, perfect ball it is and we bounce on the fairway up towards the pin and we are just just burning the left edge they are a little bit unlucky but we take it so in the end we do get the asia chest which is the final chest here i'm not having it in complete order i would say but uh, then we do have the wind coming right to left with some crosswind no not with some headwind obviously second bounce um like already explained very important that you're accurate with that we're using a 3.2 3.3 backspin approximately as i read this one as an in-between angle of in between a right to left headwind and a direct crosswind right to left 3.1 miles per hour is 1.8 rings and we are pulling over the bullseye center the ball and hit perfect and the ball will then bounce on the fairway up towards the pin and we're dropping for a nice hole in one 
Let's see what we do get in the Onyx chest here, or maybe it is the Yellow Ring, as the Onyx chest will come just after this, I think. So yeah, it is. So it's the Fire Chest. Let's see what we do get in the Fire Chest. We do have some Spitfire cards, but also some Kingmakers. Wind coming left to right with Crosswind and a little bit of Tailwind. Now let's learn from the last time we played this hole. And the reason I'm only having four videos here is because this type of uh, Golden Shot is pretty self-explanatory. Which means that, I mean, it's going to look the same from uh, every other angle in terms of how we set it up. It's just going to be different spins. 4.8 miles per hour, 2.7 rings. We sent it a ball to hit perfect. And a perfect ball here already, uh, like just after we've already had it one time, it's obviously going to give us an advantage of maybe popping this one in the hole to get some Kingmakers and uh, hopefully a good epic. Ball comes up and we take a swirly in, like a swirly booms for an hole in one. So let's see the uh, Onyx chest here and then take a look at the text guide. There we go, Horizon and some Kingmakers. The text guide made by Tony Richardson, as always, make sure to check out his channel. Shot structure before spin, second bounce to be in line with the hole on the line between bright and dark green square rows. Scan the QR code for the access to the best guides on the market, including our new Checkpoint Challenge guides. You have the link in the description down below, and obviously it's QR code here. You will get yourself to our Patreon page where you can see all the packages. So make sure to, to, to check out what suits you and what you want to improve with and sign up. Direct Tailwind, four backspin, no side spin, wind coming left to right and right to left with Tailwind, 3.8 backspin, no side spin, wind coming left to right with direct crosswind, 3.5 backspin, 0 0.1 left spin, wind coming right to left with crosswind, 3.5 backspin, 0 0.1 right spin, wind coming left to right with the crosswind and headwind, 3 backspin, wind coming right to left with crosswind and headwind, 3 backspin, no side spin there also, and direct headwind is 2.6 backspin. So not much side spin needed, it's only backspin all, uh, all around. You can find the golden shot guide in the video description down below. You can also find it on golden, golfclashtommy.com slash golden shot. Make sure when you go to our website golfclashtommy.com that you check out all the other free content that you can find there on our site. We have loads of it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I wish you the best of luck in the Golden Shot.